My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. And from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For the mighty one has done great things for me. Holy is his name. And the first point is that the gospel, it's going to bring personal hope to people who are forgotten. In fact, think about it this way. Mary, she's a woman in a man's society. She's a Jew in a Roman world. She's a teenager in an adult world. She's a defiled person in a pure world. She's a peasant in an affluent society. And yet she is in the mind of God. The reason that's important for some of you is because I know for a fact that there are some of you this morning that showed up for church today. You feel forgotten. You're about to go through the first holiday without somebody you love. You feel forgotten. You've watched one of your best friends join another friend group and you feel forgotten. You've watched other people get things that you want and you simply feel forgotten. You feel overshadowed by that one friend who always gets the spotlight or that one family member that everybody else pays attention to you feel forgotten and you need to know if that is you what Mary said in the song God is mindful of the humble state of his servants God does not forget about the people the world forgets about Be hope. Many of you receive hope from a variety of sources. You receive hope from reading scripture. You receive hope from your family or your friends or prayer. Give it away. If you want to be a hopeful person, learn to become a hope producing person.